Oh my. <laughs> That's a true story. Oh my gosh. What is up, everybody? So we have a series that we enjoy doing called Real or Fake Anime. If you're not familiar with it, you can check it out right over here. But today, we decided to switch things up a little bit by taking on the world of superheroes. Here's how the game works. I asked you all to send me on Twitter either descriptions of real superheroes or completely fake ones that you just made up using the hashtag TSRealHero or TSFakeHero. And it's up to me to guess which one is which. If I get it wrong, a batarang gets thrown at my head with the name of a celebrity who's appeared in a superhero movie. And I have to do an impression of that celebrity. For every three that I get wrong, I also have to reveal a dark secret in that impression. That's gonna be fun. But for the ones that I get right, the battering gets thrown at Joan! Joan! Oh no! Usually, uh, my guest for the real or fake anime is Dominic because he's a huge aficionado of anime. But for the world of superheroes, that is Joan's domain. For the ones that I get right, a battering gets thrown at Joan instead, and Joan has to do the impression of the celebrity. And if I not only guess that it is a real superhero, but I also name the superhero, then Joan has to do the impression and reveal an embarrassing secret. Yeah. Do you feel up for that? Sure. <laughs> you partly made up the rules for this. Can I throw the battering? Sure, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yay! That was Adri <laughs> off screen. On the Age Recorder. On the Age Recorder. Yeah. You're in position. Yeah. You're ready with the prompt. I'm always in the ready position. Oh gosh, okay. This is exciting, because I mean, it's very much like the world of anime. There's a lot of superheroes out there. A lot of ones that I'm very much looking forward to learn about. So, let us do this and hope that I don't have to reveal too many embarrassing secrets. Yay! Before we start playing, for this video, we have partnered with a very special website, Chrono.gg! Yes, that's Chrono.gg slash Thomas Sanders. It's this awesome site where you can purchase and download all kinds of games, and they have got sales going on over there every single day. Like today, for instance, there is a sale going on for the game 8-Bit Invaders. It's a fast-paced, retro, real-time strategy game. You can either play the military fighting off the aliens, or the aliens themselves. I've been personally really getting into strategy games lately, and this game definitely scratches that itch. Not to mention it's got mining, building, and you can play tons of co-op missions with your friends, which I love games that you can play with your friends. That's a probably a big surprise. <laughs> and when you connect it with the other 8-bit series from this particular gaming company, it expands the universe even further. It just keeps you coming back. It usually goes on sale for $14.99, but for today only, it's on sale for $4.99. Until 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. So, if you have an extra $5 lying around and you want to try this game out, now's the time. And if you were to use our specialized URL, chrono.gg slash Thomas Sanders, we'd get a little bit of the proceeds and it would help us continue doing what we love doing. All right, back to the game. This person mm -hmm. was turned into a living doll made out of felt due to a ritual gone wrong in which they wanted to curse someone. Now they are trying to right their wrong by helping and guiding people down the right path. They can also make many living dolls with blood strings, whatever those are. So the superhero is a living doll? Superhero is a living doll, which isn't the craziest thing. You know, there's Frog Thor. Put up a picture oh, of Oh, I have heard of Frog <laughs> Thor. If this is not real, I would love to see artwork of this. I don't mind the blood strings thing. That's kind of cool. Just because we've been discussing it a lot and theorizing, it leads me to believe that this is not a real superhero. It is fake. Cool. That's really darn cool. I want fan art to be done of that. I would like to know what blood strings are. Me too! Yeah! It missed! That was a great that throw. This, That's... Is this is Batman year one right here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Batman! I got Adam West. The OG 60s Batman. Yeah. Who yeah. also then had a later stint on shows like Family Guy. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> Robin, I'm making bat omelets. Oh my Would you God. like one? <laughs> ah, I'm dressed like a f***ing idiot. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> bravo, bravo. That may have been a Joan punishment, but it was a reward to us That's all. That's my Adam West. A young girl travels between dimensions to try to save her parents from the future she saw in a vision but it's hard to convince others to fight a war for her in another plane of existence. What? This could be so many different things. Yeah. This one's really difficult. Is it Wonder Woman trying to save Themyscira in a different dimension? Fighting a war for her? 
Is it Captain Marvel? Just because of the parallel universe jumping, I'm gonna say it's real and then guess uh, Rogue. It's fake. It's fake? Yeah. Dag nabbit. Yeah! Wait, let me redo that. No, <laughs> yeah. That was good. <laughs> I'm really good at dodging batarangs. Let's throw it at you. Yeah. It's, oh my gosh, I missed you entirely <laughs> from here. I can't. Ah. There. Nick Cage. <laughs> I'm very excited about this one. My name is Johnny Blaze. I'm the Ghost Rider. My name is Johnny Blaze. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> and I'm the Ghost Rider. <laughs> I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Not the Beast! There you go. Yeah, f it up. I've done a Thank number. Much. I've done a number of those now. My name is Johnny Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> A law enforcement officer of the future fights more than your usual crime. Horrific mutants, self-aware robots, and even his own evil twin. All while keeping the near non-existent peace of his city. What? It's a cop. Yeah. From the future. Who fights mutants and his evil twin. You know what it kind of sounds like? Because it's kind of like, it sounds like a repurposed thing. It kind of sounds like Batman Beyond. Because mm. it's like Gotham, like the dark, yeah. you know, the dark world. Yeah, and I would no imagine. There's no peace in Gotham. There's no peace in Gotham. It's like mutiny and like. It's not Commissioner Gordon. Because he doesn't face off against his own twin. Doesn't he? No. Oh, I didn't realize you've. Read every single Batman. <laughs> I'm not gonna get any closer. I might as well just pull the trigger on this one, like Batman doesn't do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zack Snyder. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say it's real, and my guess is that it's uh, Commissioner Gordon. It is real. Cool. It's Judge Dredd. Oh, wait. Is that somebody in Gotham? No. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I have Jim. Uh, Jim Carrey? <laughs> Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey. And if I talked, what would keep you from slaying me, oh segregated one? If I talk, what would keep you from slaying me, oh segregated one? Segregated one because of the He's two playing, faces? Yeah. Caffeine will kill ya! <laughs> A flock of freaking Freuds! A flock of freaking Freuds! Oh my god. That's all I'm gonna do. Very good. That was very, very good. Thanks. A young man whose superpower is running only on coffee and zero hours of sleep <laughs> while still being smart enough to stump some of the baddest of the bad. Is his power a smartness? It seems like he doesn't have it based on this description. Perfect. Cool, so he's kind of like a Batman sort of person. Wait, maybe it's... maybe it's Batman. Is Batman a coffee guy? <laughs> <laughs> Take it black. Iced. Black. Just like everything I like. <laughs> I like the concept. I will say though that it's fake. It's real. It's Tim Drake, AKA Red Robin. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Tim Drake? Yeah. Apparently. That makes, I was close with the Batman yeah, thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right in the back. <laughs> uh, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I hear it. This is great. He just kind of talks like this. He goes through his narrations. The penguins make their voyage up to the north. It's just very... Talk about Batman. What's Batman doing? Well, Batman's just on his regular bull <laughs> Let me get this straight. You think that your client, one of the wealthiest, most powerful men in the world... You think that your client, one of the wealthiest, most powerful men in the world, is secretly a vigilante who spends his nights beating criminals to a pulp with his bare hands? And your plan is to blackmail this person? <laughs> Otherwise, shoot this motherfucker. Shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Just such a rich timber. Could you imagine him doing story time? Story time. The motherfucker was about to get shot. <laughs> a woman accidentally eats too many vitamin gummies and becomes the strongest person in the world. <laughs> I'm only strongly thinking about it just because I'm like, this would be wild if this was real. But I feel like if they were to make a real comic about this, too many people would be eating those vitamin gummies trying to become a superhero. I say fake. It's fake. Okay. It's 
sweet. <laughs> I very much look forward to that drawing. Ow! <laughs> You hit me in the arm, Adrian! I got Samuel L. Jackson. Oh my gosh. <laughs> enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! <laughs> enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking Chitari on this motherfucking helicarrier! <laughs> He's too dangerous! I can't do a Samuel L. Jackson. A Paki Muslim girl is obsessed with her favorite Avenger. She gets exposed to some mist and turns into Elastigirl. Frequently fights giant robot dinosaurs. I did not think that that was where that was going. I know that there is somebody who is gonna take over. I didn't think it was Elastigirl. Is she friends with the girl who becomes Iron Man? Riri? I wish I had a nice guess on like who exactly it is, but I believe I've heard of this one before, unless I'm thinking of another Packy Supergirl. So I'm gonna just say it is real. It is real. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess that it is Captain America. No, it is Miss Marvel. Oh gosh, that's who it was! Yeah, it's Kamala Khan. Batman! <laughs> I've gotta do Robert Downey Jr. Oh, good. I'm so glad I don't have to do that one. This one's tough. <laughs> I've successfully privatized world peace. I've successfully privatized world peace. Look, dead. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm not gonna talk any bullshit here. But <laughs> That's really good. He's like, you know, like, you know, f it. Oh, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> They're not gonna be able to hear the impression if it's all just bleeps, Joan. <laughs> hey, would it be alright if everyone sat down? Hey, would it be alright if everybody sat down? That's my Robert Downey. Freaking great. I love that. That was worth every penny. A young girl called Emily discovers that her wheelchair can fly and sets to save the world with a band of disabled superheroes. She may have been born different, but she was born to save the world. Oh my gosh. Wait, was this thing that was made? If it's not, it should be. I have no leads on this one. It does not ring a bell. I feel like somebody did make this. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's real. It is. It is? <laughs> Wait, really? The comic is called The Department of Ability. Hit me with another g battering. You ready? Yeah. I gotta do Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> We're a time bomb. He's a plague, Tony. He's a time bomb, Tony. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving because suddenly you get a little twitchy. <laughs> Can you oh my gosh, do the do the most famous line. I'm always angry. <laughs> That's so good! Oh yeah, I'm really glad you had that one. A dyslexic hero finds out he has the power to cast spells, but only if he can concentrate enough to read them from his book. That's really interesting. I like this being an original idea. I think that's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be truthful. I'm gonna I'm gonna say my initial instinct is that somebody made this up. Fake. Yes, it's fake. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry! <laughs> What a cool idea. Does that does that character have a name? Who was the one that made the prompt? The prompt was made by Tyler Liskowich. Tyler, that's awesome. If it has a name, I'd love to know. That's really darn cool. Oh god. <laughs> I know I saw the name. I was like, yay! I gotta do J.K. Simmons. Who is Spider-Man? He's a criminal, that's who he is. A vigilante. A public menace. Who is Spider-Man? <laughs> it's a criminal! <laughs> a vigilante! A vigilante! A menace. Uh, see, I'm trying to contribute because I've done, I've had so many that I've gotten right that I feel like I need to. Do oh my some god, I'm just getting so many right. It's not. It I has nothing to do. I can't stop getting them right. <laughs> oh god, punish me, punish me. That is, that is something I say a lot. <laughs> I like BDSM. <laughs> Get out of here! Got a picture of Julian Roberts in a thong. Weirdo. Picture of this weirdo. <laughs> Doesn't want to be famous? Then I'll make him infamous. Something sort of like that. that I got good. a little Nicki Minaj at the end. <laughs> a war vet okay. who accidentally killed his friend in a roller skating incident, <laughs> then discovers that it was actually set up by gangs. He becomes a roller skating superhero. What? To avenge his friend by. Taking on the gangs. By taking on the gangs of roller skaters? Yeah, or no, they're not gangs of roller. He, he was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I got thrown off there. Roller, roller skating? Skater. 
The only thing I can think of is like this would be a superhero from like the 70s or 80s. And their friend died in a roller skating accident. <laughs> Look at this, a gang set it up. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's fake. Well, I guess I gotcha. Cause it's f***ing real. Is it? Yeah, his name is Skate Man. No freaking yeah. way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Skate Man. Can I see a picture of this, yeah, please? There's a picture included in the tweet. Oh my gosh. There he is. Ah! Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah. Benedict, <laughs> Benedict Cabbage Patch is what it says on here. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Wong, what do you want, Strange? Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. When I was in my teens, I decided to go skinny dipping in my family pool. Uh, in the middle of the day, which was a great decision for anybody to do. Sarcasm. I then came out of the water, and my mom is looking straight at me, going, what the hell are you doing? You definitely should be waiting until nighttime to do that, because your neighbors could come over at any time. <laughs> I was morbidly embarrassed, and I am thankful that all she said was just advice on how to properly skinny dip. She didn't say anything about your dinky? She wasn't like, oh god, you dinky! But yes, that is something that has scarred me to this day. Now you've heard Doctor Strange tell you an embarrassing teen story, and I didn't have to do it. That was Doctor Strange's story, it's not, not... That was Doctor Strange's backstory. <laughs> <laughs> This one's short and sweet. Okay. Campy, gay, gunslinger, outlaw who lives in the Wild West. What? Gay, though. How many comics have a gay superhero if it was older? I don't know if it's older. I guess he's just an outlaw cowboy. Um, for the sake of brevity, I will say somebody made it up. Fake. It's real. What? Yes. Wait, really? Yeah, it's real. His name's Rawhide Kid. No freaking way. Can I see a picture? Sure. Ah! Freaking Nick. Oh, Tom oh my God. Holland. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Start. I don't feel so good. You're alright. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. You're alright. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I'm sorry. Connor, do the edit. Connor, do the the me. <laughs> he did it. He did it. Yeah, no shit! I, no shit! Peter Parker just f died? What, what, what do you think that, what else could that have been? This gold girl rides roller skates and flashes bad guys with light. Are you serious? Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Say it again. This gold girl rides roller skates and flashes bad guys with light. Okay, I don't know about the roller skates, but... I believe there is an X Man. I think her name was like Dazzler. Maybe it's Jubilee. I can't remember if Jubilee was like back in the 70s. There was like an early X Man, but I remember specifically like she was decked out in like 70s attire with the glasses and stuff, and her power was light. If I say Dazzler or Jubilee, do I have to choose or is that close enough? You gotta choose. I have to choose. Ah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna go against my better instincts and I'm gonna say real and jubilee. It is real and it's the Dazzler. Oh my god! Oh my god! 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 Wait, oh, please! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, you have it. You got it. You, that was your first instinct. <laughs> Thank you for being nice and yeah. letting me take that. I need to trust myself more often. <laughs> I sent blood spurting blood, <laughs> but make it blue, like they did in the movie Stardust. All right, so it's Michael Caine. All right. Oh, so, good. All right, so let me see. Do the impression of Michael Caine that was done in Holy Musical Batman. Oh my God. <laughs> and I swore I'd protect you, and I haven't. And I swore I'd protect you, and I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna do the crying scene. Ooh. From the Dark Knight. Wait, so you have to tell an embarrassing secret oh, while yeah, that's in the perfect. Michael Caine impression. Yeah, yeah, let me see. I'm so sorry. I failed you. You trusted me. I 
I failed you. All right. <laughs> oh no. So one time, I was in the bathroom. Uh. <laughs> I said, at, Wait, a, yeah, I at a at a restaurant, and I took a. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, it was white, <laughs> and it scared me. Anyway, it scared me. <laughs> and I didn't tell anybody until I filmed an episode <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> of YouTubers React and they cut it out of the video. <laughs> and I've brought it up three times what, when I've been on YouTubers React. <laughs> and they keep cutting out of the cutting it out of the videos. Oh, <laughs> right. That's a true story. Oh my gosh. I right. took a white sh <laughs> well, that was fun! Oh my gosh, I got to hear so many good impressions from both of us. Good. <laughs> I want to thank you, Joan, for coming in, reading those prompts. I appreciate it. I want to thank you, Adri, for helping to pick out the prompts, make the Batarang. Very excited to see people's renditions of those original superheroes. If they aren't superheroes yet, make them. Make them real. If somebody can make Skate Man, you can make your better character. <laughs> If you guys have any other ideas on what you would like to send me prompts of to determine whether they are real or fake, let us know in the comments. It'd be fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any of our previous videos, click over here. And if you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. That is it. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace, Peace out. out. So I thought of this like literally while filming just now because everyone was doing impressions. Okay. And I decided I wanted to do impressions of Joan and Thomas. All right. Story time. I. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I got this, I got this. Peace out! There you go, I like that. What is up, everybody? I was gonna suggest that. What is up, that. everybody? Hey guys, if you wouldn't mind, would you stop taking a piss in my bedroom? <laughs> <laughs>